Let's use generative AI to peer into the soul of our collective consciousness. Yeah, you know, by asking artificial intelligence to generate the most attractive woman from every country. And while we're at it, let's look at typical homes, typical professions, and typical pets. Because in some deeper sense in the world, asking something like generative AI to reflect back to us what the average of our collective intelligence is gives us a window into society as a whole. So without further ado, I give you AI generating the most attractive woman from every country. Let's do it. Argentina, Australia, Belgium, Brazil, Canada, Chile, China, Colombia, Czech Republic, Denmark, Egypt, Ethiopia, Finland, France, Germany, Ghana, Greece, India, Indonesia, Ireland, Israel, Italy, Japan, Kenya, Malaysia, Mexico, Morocco, Netherlands, New Zealand, Nigeria, Norway, Peru, Philippines, Poland, Portugal, Russia, Saudi Arabia, South Africa, South Korea, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, Thailand, Tunisia, Turkey, United Arab Emirates, United Kingdom, United States, Venezuela, Vietnam, and if you need more time with your favorite country, you you can find the full list at yamotor.com. Now let's head on over to Reddit to look at somebody who used AI to generate people, the average person from different states in the United States. Man, it feels like the average person from New Mexico has been through a lot. Maine, all right, nice beard. New Yorker, yeah, I can see that. Looks like a big city guy. Ohio, I like that one. Everybody looks like a paleontologist or geologist or somethingologist. No, this can't be real. That's the average person from Florida. Hey, he's trolling us. They threw alligator into the prompt or something. That's the average person from Colorado. Suspiciously pretty. All right, they nailed that one. That is how everybody in Hawaii looks, absolutely. Do people in Alabama wear their hat backwards? So as the average person in Alaska, they got, you know, it does snow there a lot, they have to bundle up. No, that's not the average person in Illinois, forget that. Texas, looking strong. I think it could be average, it's a good one. Utah, mm, not Mormon enough. Washington State, yeah, I get it. Maybe the average like political intern or activist, but if you average all the senators, not nah, too young. Smash that subscribe button. Let's put a little bit of serious context around all this opinion. So Bloomberg did a nice investigative piece I wanna to talk to you about. It's called Humans Are Biased and Generative AI Is Even Worse. It was written by Leonardo Nicoletti and Diana Bass. So these faces are important because they're not AI generated. This is a composite photo of the real people who do these jobs. So taking lots of photos, just lining them up so they're all in the same position with eyes and mouth, and then lowering the opacity so they all blend together, this is what you get. And this is fascinating. I looked at this for a long time because if more than say 50% of them are women, this average will tend to look more feminine. If the majority have mustaches, then there's more mustaches. Like stuff like that starts to kind of come out of the image. So we can learn a lot about the average person from this. So the top row that's more of a high paying jobs, you can see that those look more male dominated. In low paying occupations, you can see the difference between a janitor and a cashier, for example, has a gender bias. Also, it's weird that the judge and the janitor are the only ones that seem to not have smiles on average, with the lawyers having like the most neutral face I've ever seen. And by the way, if you already have a mustache, you're probably going to be an engineer or a janitor. So what do you think is going to happen when we actually go generate these faces? Will they match up? Let's find out. Politicians, social workers, teachers, architects, cashiers, CEOs, dishwashers, doctors, engineers, fast food workers, housekeepers, janitors, judges, lawyers. Wow, and that guy has the most neutral face I've ever seen, so that matches up. And of course, unfortunately, you can see a trend here where the machine will generate more white people as it becomes a higher income job, and that there's a clear gender divide for certain professions. But tools like Stable Diffusion and OpenAI's DALI and Midjourney they're becoming the backbone of text to image generation. And there's some predictions that the internet will be 90% generated in the next five years. So it makes sense to me that it will reinforce the same biases that are already built in. And probably a lot of that generated content will get fed into the next version of the model and then it will see even more bias. Now let's go generative AI home searching and see what the average home looks like in every state. Classic New York. I like the Chicago brick look, that's cool. I get that, little summery Texas San Antonio vibe. Is that what homes in Dallas look like? I've never been, but that looks more whimsical than I expected. Yeah, Houston seems well built. Yeah, Phoenix, that's definitely their style. San Jose, I think that one's accurate. Yeah, Los Angeles got that Hollywood look. Philadelphia, probably, I haven't been, but that seems right. San Diego, yeah, it's kind of close to that Mexico, US border, kind of, yeah, I get that. Now let's blast off to the future and see what AI thinks our lives will look like in the year 2100. For sure, because in 2030, Ray Kurzweil says we're gonna solve aging. And when that happens, that could be like Pelosi or Trump or anyone who wants to just keep on living. That's if we don't get alignment, right? Maybe, what is she writing? Is that a bike? 
It seems a little organic for the future. I don't think so. Hmm, I guess we'll probably have trench coats. Whoa, robotic Assassin's Creed? Probably. Nah, look at these guys down here. They're still balding. I guarantee that solved. Uh, uh, I don't know. Like even, are we gonna have floating disc cities? Like, is that useful? I don't see this one. This mech warrior one for sure. That's probably like the mech warrior that saved America from China in the 2099 war or something. Like, does anyone want to use that much energy just to float there? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, robot and kid hanging out by the pond. This one's legit. And also that robot's got an AI in it that grew up with him and they're like best friends. And he could be put in any body, but right now this is the body he's in. Yeah, man, that looks like Boston Dynamics right now. That's a guaranteed. You know, a lot of structures kind of with like nature all around. I feel like we probably want something like that. That looks like a space shuttle launch pad. And there'll probably be a lot of those, so maybe. But it also kind of looks like a giant robot. Like space transports that can walk around and move. Yeah, yeah, probably. No way VR is gonna be that bulky. It's either gonna be like Neuralink, it's gonna be contacts, or at minimum like clean, easy to put on glasses. Oh, I don't know, man. Why are they making these robots so big? I don't see it. So there you go. You got a window into our soul thanks to artificial intelligence. Smash that subscribe button.